Hi, this is Joginder Singh and you are watching Jogi and You. In this video, you will learn today how to prove that the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. We know that the sum of all angles within a triangle is 180 degree. But when we have to prove this fact, we can't use this already proven fact. So, what to do now? Let's prove that for a triangle ABC because we can't use this already proven fact. We will use some other property of triangles to prove that. Here to prove this thing, we need to do a small bit of construction. First, we have to draw a line PQ passing through the point C, which is parallel to AB and it will look like this. Now you can see that many angles are formed. Let us name them. Let this angle A, this angle B and let this one is angle C. Angles A, B and C are the interior angles of this triangle and we have to find their sum which is equals to 180 degree. So how to find this? There are two more angles that are formed outside the triangle. Let us call them angle 1 and angle 2. Before we move forward, let us understand a new concept. Because these are two parallel lines and there is a transversal that cuts those lines. Let this be angle 1 and this be angle A. In such a case, angle 1 will always equals to angle A. Why because? Because these are alternate interior angles. Remember, the transversal has to cut two parallel lines. Now, look at the original figure. Here, AB and PQ are parallel lines and angle 1 and A are alternate interior angles. Which is why angle A will be equals to angle 1. Now, if you look at the figure carefully, you will notice that the angle 2 and angle B are alternate interior angles too. In this case, CB becomes a new transversal for the lines AB and PQ, which intersect these two parallel lines. It means that angle 2 will also be equals to angle B because both these pairs are alternate interior angles. Look at the figure and see where angles 1, 2 and C are placed. Here PQ is a straight line and now it is time to know about a different concept, a new property of angles. For that, the angles formed at the point C on the line PQ is a linear angle or a straight angle. And as you all know that the measurement of a straight angle is always 180 degree. Doesn't matter in how many parts you divide this angle. It will always remain the same as 180 degree. And since PQ is a straight line, so the sum of angle 1, 2 and C will equals to 180 degree because they are linear angles. So we can write this as angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle C is 180 degree. Now what we are interested in is the sum of these three angles which are angle A, B and C. Since angle 1 is equal to angle A and angle 2 is equal to angle B. So, we just replaced 1 and 2 with the angles A and B. Look at this new equation and see. What does this tell you? It implies that the sum of angles A, B and C is equal to 180 degree. And this is what we want to prove. And here, it's already proven. So my dear friends, 
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon for the interesting mathematical videos. Thanks for watching.